Module 3 Introduction International System of Units Prefixes SI prefixes precede a basic unit and indicate a tenfold multiple or fraction of that unit. You should know the multiple represented and prefix symbol for at least those represented within this red box. These prefixes are often used for convenience. For example, the wavelength of a visible photon might be expressed as 0 0.000000495 meters. In normalized scientific notation, that value would be 4.95 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Or using SI prefixes, I could have expressed that wavelength simply as 495 nanometers. Here, I can think of the meter to nanometer conversion a couple of different ways. Either that 1 times 10 to the 9 nanometers, or 1 billion nanometers, is equivalent to a meter, or that 1 nanometer is equivalent to 1 billionth, or 1 times 10 to the minus 9 meters. As an important aside, if I know a length conversion like these, I can easily calculate a corresponding area or volume conversion. Let's look at a couple of examples. I know, using the SI prefixes, that 100 centimeters is equivalent to 1 meter. If I were to square both sides of this equality, I get an area conversion. 100 squared or 1 times 10 to the 2 squared becomes 1 times 10 to the 4, or 10,000 square centimeters is equivalent to 1 square meter. I know, using the SI prefixes, that 10 decimeters is equivalent to 1 meter. If I were to cube both sides of this equality, I get 10 cubed, or 1,000 cubic decimeters is equal to one cubic meter. Two volume equivalencies are very important, and you should know these, that one liter is equivalent to one cubic decimeter, that one milliliter is equivalent to one cubic centimeter. Let's practice using these SI prefixes and doing some unit conversion. All right, we're asked to express 11.9 picometers in meters. All right, we need to know what that pico prefix represents. We'll use our factor label system. 11.9 picometers. I know I want picometers to cancel, to be left with a meter. Again, I know I could think of this one of two ways. I'm going to think of it as one picometer is equivalent to 1 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. I do this bit of arithmetic and I discover that that is equivalent to 1.19 times 10 to the minus 11 meters. Next we're asked to express 3.44 grams per cubic centimeter in units of kilograms per cubic meter. All right, before we start using our factor label system, Let's go ahead and find what the volume conversion is going to be. And let's start by knowing what the length conversion is. Let's see, we're given 100 centimeters is equivalent to 1 meter. So if I were to cube both sides of that, I would see that 100 cubed, which is 1 times 10 to the 6th cubic centimeters, is equivalent to a cubic meter. Okay, using the prefixes and this now derived conversion, we've got everything we need. Let's start with what it is we know. 3.44 grams per cubic centimeter. All right, let's go ahead and take care of the gram to kilogram conversion first. Gram will cancel, leave us a kilogram. 1,000 grams in one kilogram. All right, we want cubic centimeters to cancel, to leave us a per cubic meter. We just came up with that conversion. 1 times 10 to the positive 6 cubic centimeters is equivalent to 1 cubic meter. 
So here I'm in essence taking 3.44 dividing by a thousand times a million. That's equivalent to taking 3.44 times a thousand or 3440 units of kilogram per cubic meter. So master the international system of units by completing the exercises in module three.